Hey guys, it's me, Carly, coming at you with another video, and I just got my hair done. My mom put these braids in last night. It took almost all of six hours, but I wanted to make a new video showing you my hairdo, and to make a response video to Danielle Panabaker and to an interview I saw of her. Oh, and this is how the hair comes, by the way. Can you see it? It comes pre-braided like this. It's really awesome. Yeah. Okay. So I'm showing you that. But anyway, I'm making this video because I saw I saw an interview with Candace Patton, or Candace Patton, Carlos Valdez, and Daniel Panabaker like a couple months back, and it's kind of been getting on my nerves because of because the interviewer was like you know asking questions like an interview does but then he had to bring up Snowberry right in front of Carlos and Candace and then has to ask Danielle Panabaker about Snowberry and her response was like oh you know I really love Grant he, uh, he and I are very lucky that we do have such good chemistry together I mean Grant has good chemistry with anyone like he has good chemistry with the coffee pot because he's just he just seems like that charming of a guy but uh, I mean if she thinks Daniel what kind of chemistry do you mean like romantic chemistry because chemistry doesn't have to be romantic it can be uh well it can be romantic it can be like platonic chemistry you don't even have good rom they do not have good romantic chemistry I'm sorry I mean that's my opinion and that can be some of your opinion, but it's just the way she responded. I don't know if she, and she says, oh, yeah, I love working with him, and Grant and I are lucky. We do have such good chemistry together. Like, you don't spend any time together outside of Star Labs at all or doing Flash stuff. He's normally with Joe. Or he's with Cisco watching movies or Wally. -E. You don't even have any friends outside of Star Labs. You could be friends with Iris. But I think the reason it bugged me is because in like one episode, he's like, Oh yeah, would that be something you would like to explore? And he's like, Well, yes. I think the Snowberry Shippers will be very excited by episode 19. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that the episode with, uh, every man and he's posing as Barry and then he kisses her? Is is that what she's talking about? Because I, I can't remember. It's been so long since I've watched season one. But, uh, just some of her, and then other questions when she's asked about Snowberry. She doesn't try and shut it down. It's like, oh yeah. I also like Katelicity. She didn't say she didn't dislike Snowberry. I mean, she can like it if she wants to, and I know she can't control her racist, rabid fans, but it's just that her responses to things are, like, it makes me think she ships it, which, and she doesn't even try to hide the fact that she ships it or something. That's at least the impression I got. And then she was like... Oh, yeah. Um, I look super pale on the lighting. I have my kitchen lights on. Okay, but anyway, she she was like, oh, yeah, I also like being the only girl in Star Labs, and I think, I don't think she tried to throw Candace under the bus, and I don't think she meant to, or she didn't, or whatever, but it just seems like she constantly glosses over the fact, like, oh, yeah, there is another lady. We could get Candace in Star Labs. We could get Iris and Caitlin having a friendship. And Candace is always advocating for more female friendships. And she's always advocating that Candace can be more than what Barry is. Whereas Danielle, it seems like, oh yeah, well, I'll just do whatever the writers want me to do and want me to work with. And then I'll... She has options. I also like... She also said she liked Kate Licity, as if Felicity isn't on every damn show in the DC TV universe, because I'm sorry, Felicity is so annoying. Like, she gets to be in everything, 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 everything. She's mentioned in every, 
She's mentioned in every sing single DC TV CW show that's on air. She's mentioned she gets to make small cameos. Her voice gets to appear in Vixen. And yet, Candace, who could be doing interviews for these heroes and writing about other heroes and having a team up, she barely gets to do anything. Like, why does all the screen time go to Felicity? Okay, enough about Felicity, but back to Danielle. I just don't know when Danielle is answering these questions, she's trying to appease her fans, her Snowberry fans, or if she is, like, is she aware of the racism that Candace gets just because she's black for playing the part of, quote, she's playing the part of a white lady? I don't, not a white lady, but is she, is, is Danielle aware of what people do to Candace online, like edit her so she looks whiter or edit her so that she looks more like Iris from the comics or Flashpoint because that Iris is white. I mean, I just want to know if Danielle knows why the real reason why Snowberry is a ship in the first place. And I want her to like go and stick up for Candace. It, but instead, she's like, oh, yeah, she's she's got options, you know, and it would be kind of difficult to date Barry because we work together, not the fact that uh, I have a husband that just died and I'm grieving him and he's disappeared on me. Or Caitlin has a husband that just... She doesn't say anything like, oh, yeah, Caitlin has a husband. She doesn't talk about Snowstorm at all. She doesn't talk about her own ship. I mean, that's... She was married to him, or Caitlin and Ronnie were married. She doesn't talk about that, and she doesn't talk about um. And but she's like, oh yeah, but it would be awkward because you know Barry's in love with uh Candace or not not Candace, Iris, and she has you know feelings. He has strong feelings for her, and then she says stuff. Like, oh yeah, lately he's been obsessed with Iris. Like, girl, he's been obsessed with Iris since day one. It has been clear since season one that West Allen was endgame. The minute the byline says Iris West Allen, and Barry don't give, Barry don't care nothing about the story that was written, okay? He cares, he cares about the, uh, he cares that the byline says Iris West Allen. Okay? So, no. It's like, when she's... Oh, and then she said something like, Yeah. Oh, I love working with Grant. It's been a lot of fun. There's been layers of that that sort of been sprinkled throughout the show. What does that mean? Like, they're... Giving you hints of Snowberry? No, no, no. They're not giving us any hints of Snowberry. I have seen no clear indicator of Snowberry. Seriously. It's just literally two white people standing next to each other. And like, oh, yeah, I've been thinking about you. And then Iris says, I cannot stop. I have not been able to stop thinking about you. And then he says something. She says something like. Or, uh, no. Oh, crap, I lost my train of thought. But then, it, it, it's like, there is no indicator. Oh, yeah, you're doing that mouth thing you do when you're nervous. But, like, oh, yeah, but he notices everything Candace does. Or Iris, not Iris. Candace and Iris. Same people. Like, one actress, two different people. Played by the, you know what I mean. But I'm like, no, sweetie, there's no indicator of Snowberry at all. The byline, it's been clear from day one, season one, that he was in love with Iris, 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 and that the byline says Iris West Allen. It does not say Caitlin Snow, Mrs. Barry Caitlin Allen. No, 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 no. It does not say Snowberry. It says West 
Alan for a reason. Okay? So, Danielle, there is no hints. I don't want to hate you. But, I just, I'm just trying to make you aware of what Snowberry fans, I'm not saying all Snowberry fans, because I'm sure there's some shitty West Allen fans, but. And we've got receipts, too. There's the receipts. We got receipts of people calling Candace a bunch of racist, racial slurs. And I just am trying to make you understand the reason that that ship, Snowberry, exists in the first place. And I just want you to acknowledge and defend Candace from any racist comments she gets. Not that you have to, but it would be nice to go to bat for your co-star, because you do too, because you do have to work together, and she probably, Candace, the poor girl probably gets so much hate for no reason other than because she has a lot of melanin, and she's black. So, yeah. So, Danielle, I don't dislike you, but please, one more time, be, just be aware of why people ship Snowberry in the first place, why a majority of people ship Snowberry, okay? All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, I'm sorry that I made it rambly, but I just had to get this off my chest. I will put links down below. And yeah, so if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Leave your suggestions, and have a nice one.